Hi all, I have a rubber band guitar here for you, and I'm going to teach you how to make one. Here's how you make it. Enjoy. Hey everyone, I wanted to show you a, a small project you can do with your kids um, that involves uh, involves the guitar. Uh, what I have here is some foam board, and what I do is I lay out a template of a guitar shape that I would like to work with, and these are all approximately. 11 inches um, high by two and a half inches thick and I cut out some sort of pattern, guitar shaped pattern here's one I have a sound hole in it already and here's another shape you can cut the shapes any way you like and here's what my what my board looks like take a look at my board here you can see that and I cut, I cut the uh, board with an X-Acto knife. Just lay out a shape, cut it with an X-Acto knife. When I'm finished, oops. When I'm finished, it comes out in a nice shape like this. Okay. All right then. So, after I do that, after I cut my shape out with an exact, okay then, after I do that, after I cut my shape out with an exacto knife, I'll take the shape and I'll take a Dixie cup, a small Dixie cup, and I'll trace a hole where it would look like the sound hole would go. Would go. I'll trace the hole and then I'll cut that out. And I have one right here for you. Cut this one out earlier. And I'll put the Dixie cup inside of there. Like so. And usually I'll tape it in. I'll take a couple pieces of tape. Just simply uh, tape it in so it doesn't go anywhere. Oh, that's a bad piece. Let me get another piece here. Tape it in real quick. Now you don't really have to tape it in if it's fitting in there snugly. And then I'll get a, a stirrer here. I like these. They come in lots of different colors. These are really nice. And you pick a color you might like. I'll, I'll go with orange. And I'll use this as the bridge. And I'll put it back here somewhere. A little bit away from the sound hole, maybe right there, maybe midway. And I'll tape that on, on both ends. So, take a piece of tape and tape it on the top here, just to keep it in place. And let me do that, a bit better than that. And I'll tape it on the bottom. Just using a uh, scotch tape, transparent tape. 
And I also may uh, draw in some frets here, some fret lines. And I could take a straight edge, or I could take take one of these stirs and use that as a as a ruler. I just randomly you know, draw them in with a felt tip marker. Just kind of make it look like a guitar. I've done a few of these already. I usually draw these in before I put the cup in. The Dixie cup. And it comes out, it comes out really nice, just drawing some lines. And it's better to use a straight edge. I like using a, um, a triangle. And I'll just lay out some lines, like so. And I might go all the way up to here. And I'm doing this really rough. You can see the lines. And I might have put in some fret markings. And I'll put a circle here, a circle here, maybe two here. Make it look like a guitar. So there we go. Put in some fret markings. So I have the frets, the fret mark markers, the sound hole, the bridge, basic guitar shape. See the Dixie cup in the back. And now what I'll do is I'll get some rubber bands. I'll get three rubber bands from an assortment. And I might pick a, you know, different thicknesses. It plays a role in the pitch of the, of the note or the string. Here's a, here's a nice thick one. Here's a, a little bit thinner than that. Let's see. How about this one right here? This one's nice and thin. Here's a nice thin one. What I'll do is I'll string up the guitar. Put it on here like this. And on the front, I make sure you know it's not all twisted. It's not all twisted, that's what you want. There you go. And I'll keep doing that. I'll put on the next thickest one. Kind of mimic a real guitar from thick string to thinnest string. The next thickest one down. This one will go right in the center. Like so. And then I'll put on another one, a green one. This one's a little thinner than the rest. Or I might have those backwards, but... And I'll, I'll kind of evenly spread them out. I'll test it out. And it's a little... Push that cup in just a little bit. And if you do this just right, you might have to adjust the bridge a little bit. If you do it just right, You have a nice little acoustic guitar there. And uh, some people would say it's a harp, but actually, because you can fret it and change the notes, I'm gonna have to adjust, I have to adjust the bridge on this one a little bit. You actually have a guitar. Let me show you some that I, I previously made. Here's a nice one that I made. It's good to make with kids. Here's another one I made. Let's, uh, let's try this one. Now, you know, kids kids will like playing this, you know. They can put their fingers here and they can use their thumb. Oops. But really what brings this to life is if you get a um, an acoustic pickup or a transducer. And I have one right here from uh, Dean Markley. And this is great. What I like to do is, is stick this on the back. I'll put it underneath two of the through the strings. I have some putty on it. It's kind of worn out, but it'll stick on the back. But now I can connect it to an amplifier and really have some fun. And I have that hooked up right now. So let's see if I can get this going. Let's see. There we go. I'm going to crank it up. There you go. Now it sounds really sweet. So play like this too. And you can make these uh, any size you want. It's a lot of fun.
talk with your kids about how sound is produced, how the different thicknesses of the rubber bands uh, affect the way that it sounds, the, the changing in the length of the string or the rubber band, making it shorter, higher pitch, longer, lower pitch, and that sort of thing, and it's, it's a lot of fun. So. fun with that and I hope you enjoyed that. It's great for kids and there's a lot of potential with this. So enjoy. <laughs>